While it is possible to maintain up to seven different tax rates, most shops only use one. Line 1 should have an X in default. This is the global tax setting that the software will apply to orders. Users can always make tax exceptions at the customer, vehicle, and or order item levels. Please note, the system is shipped with the sales tax setting turned on. All new customers entered into the system will be marked as taxable at 0% until you enter your actual current tax rate. You can also change any customer to a non-tax status as needed by clicking on the tax button while in the customer screen. Compound taxes such as Canadian PST GST is entered on lines 6 and 7. Check the default checkboxes and these should be set with appropriate general ledger codes. Typically shops rely on their accountants to break out any additional city, county, etc. taxes at the accounting stage. If this applies to your shop, confirm your tax strategy with the accountant before finalizing your tax entry here. The compound tax table allows you to set up compound taxes that can be applied to inventory part items. These taxes are only applied to parts and are typically used for tires. You can specify up to two excise taxes. If there are two excise taxes, you specify which tax is applied first and which tax is applied second. Please note, in most shops only the standard tax rate table will be used and no setup is required in this dialog window. The excise tax options will not be visible to apply in the inventory record window unless a compound tax has already been configured here in setup.